Hey y'all, this is going to be a rundown of how I like to do my warm-up routine. So I start out with a chromatic exercise where we're going to go one, two, three, four on the big string. And you want to pay a close attention to making sure you get your fingers near those frets. Not on top of them, but not too far back from them either because you get buzzes and stuff there. So the best way you want to do it is get your fingers real close to that next fret. Now with this hand, I'm going to try to go down, up, down, up. So I'm going to try to strictly alternate over here. Just go down the strings. Paying close attention to getting each finger near that new fret. Now you could go back right there, start with the down again. Now another thing you can do is when you get to the highest notes up here, you can take it up one and come back. That way you keep moving up the neck. You can make this a longer exercise and you can get used to all the different widths of the frets. Get into a steady little pace. One thing to mention also is that you, you definitely don't want to go like one, two, three, four and then have a pause and then go to the next string. You want to keep this like rhythmically even. So you can go up as high up the neck as you want. I'm going to try that again and count it off and you can play along with me if you like. One, two, three, four. Go up one. But that is really good for your coordination between the two hands, really good for your right hand picking, and obviously it's working all your fingers, getting them warmed up. So the other chromatic exercise I like to do, I go one and then two on the string below, and then back to the big string, three, and then down the string to the four. And then you can go to the fifth string and do the same. One, two, three, four. So it's a little tricky with this left hand until you get used to that. Now when you come back, start with the down again. Down, up, down, up. And I'm starting on the little string going to the, to the second string. Okay, we can take that up the neck as well like this. One, two, three, four. Speed up a little bit, baby. Okay, so take that all the way up the neck. That's another good exercise. Then I like to get into the G major scale, five positions. What I like to do with them also, besides just play the scale up and down, is do the thirds exercise. Where you go from the first note of the scale to the third note of the scale. And each note is another third. So 
So then I'll also do, I'll do like all the positions of that and then I'll come back and do these fours. But while I'm on this first position, I'm going to show you the fours too. So one, two, three, four, it's just four up the scale and then back to the second note, up four from it, so. Okay, then let's look at the second position. And if you need a more like slowed down breakdown of these uh, major scale positions, I have another lesson video on that, uh, the G major scale five positions. So once again, this is the second one. I'm gonna go ahead and do the, um, I'll do it one more time. thirds and then we'll do the fours It takes a while so you really can get this the jumping strings and keep that whole down up thing going, you know. So take your time with it. Down up, 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 down up. And then third position, we'll do the whole position. thirds Okay, the fourth position. Do the thirds. And sometimes I'll change my fingers on how I do some of these things, but it's good to kind of have a consistent way of doing it. So if you if you keep kind of if it screws you up a lot, like try to stick to the same fingers that you used going up as going down, and you can get more consistent with which fingers you use. And then the more you do these, the more you improvise with these things, you can you can kind of change fingers and not get lost. So sometimes you know I'll go one way, and I'll, sometimes I'll go the other way. Fifth position. Do the thirds. And then fours. Okay, so that's the exercises and stuff I do for those positions in G. You might mix it up and do like F sharp, you know. So you're not always on the same, you know, exact key, same fret markers and stuff. Mix it up a bit. 
Maybe start on A, a flat. <laughs> Okay, another thing I'll do, then I'll look at the minor pentatonic. Let's say for E. I'll do the flat fifth in there also. And I'll do some little like uh, bending and kind of bluesies. it up a bit, you know, that second position of pentatonic minor, and then you might think of the, where the flat fifth goes in there, third position, fourth position, Think about the where the flat fifth goes. Fifth position. And do a little, you know, jamming around it. So by doing all that, I'm getting my, I'm all warmed up on my right hand. I got my down up picking going good. I'm going to be able to, I'm be able to improvise and move around the neck well. And all these fingers are working. I've thought about my different scale shapes and, you know, when you're improvising, you want, you got to be able to like visualize those whole shapes of those positions and everything to really be able to see where you want to go and to be able to move in from others into others, you know, fluently. So basically that's what I do when I, when I get a chance to warm up, I'll go through those chromatic exercises. I'll move them all the way up the neck. I'll really concentrate on the down up picking. I'll go through the five major scale positions and do those thirds exercises and four notes in a row exercise. Then I'll go into my pentatonic positions and with the flat fifths in there and I'll do some like bending. some stuff like that going and then I'm pretty much warmed up I'm ready to do the gig do the practice do the session whatever you know so anyway I'm Damon Wood um, thanks a lot for watching and uh, leave in the comments uh, leave me suggestions or anything else you'd like to learn about and uh, like and subscribe if you dig what you see and there's gonna be a lot more coming I appreciate you peace out have a good day